Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at some of the news that were coming up over the last two days for Pokemon Go with a lot of new Pokemon that are coming into the game. So today we're going to take a look at some of the new Pokemon here and what they can do and maybe can do also in the future. But also before we start into the video, thanks all so much for 70,000 subscribers on the channel. I really appreciate it. Just got it on the 1st of January. I said already in the video before, but here I feel like with face cam. First face cam video of the year is kind of something where I can say thank you towards that. But let's take a look here real quick at the events that are coming up. And the first one is most likely going to be also one of the more interesting ones here. Which is going to be the Hisuian Typhlosion Raid Day. This will like this will be actually an interesting one here for sure because um, this Pokemon is going to be a Ghost plus Fire type Pokemon and has some interesting moves in the main series games like Shadow Claw, which would be Stab, or also Incinerate. I think it would learn, which would be Stab and really really strong. Sadly, we're going to take a look at the moves that lie down as well. It's not going to be as great at the current time, but what we can say about this Pokemon is, or in general about this event is. Um, this is going to be the best event for you to farm rare XR candy. Like this is always like the last time we had like the Hisuian um, Samurai right day. I got like so many rare XR candies because you can do those raids fairly easily, and um, they're three star raids, so you can solo them. But also you can um, remote raid them, and if you buy the ticket, which is here five euro, like it depends if you really want to pay the price, of course, for the remote raid passes, or as well as for like something like the five euro ticket here or five dollar ticket there. Um, it is definitely worth it to play this event for it because the additional Rex Alcanes that you get is actually kind of huge for this one. You get a lot of them, and last time I think I got like twenty or thirty in like I don't know. Like, I had sometimes raids where they gave me three rare XR candy. So, this is the event that you want to play to get rare XR candy. So, definitely try to do this one. Otherwise, let's take a look here real quick at the event bonuses as well. Of course, you're going to get the new Hisuian Typhlosion, which we're going to take a look at real quick afterwards as well. But event bonuses receive up to five additional free raid passes from gyms and yeah, from Protoss, basically, which is the normal one. So you can do up to, I think, six then total um, raid passes if you store one from the day prior or something like this. I don't know if it's actually going to work like this. Plus, remote raid limit will be increased to 20 on Saturday from 4 p.m. to Sunday, um, yeah, till 7 p.m., which is kind of cool as well. Definitely going to be an interesting one there. Definitely going to do some raids there for sure. But here's more of the interesting part. Like, the event is okay. Like, you yeah, wouldn't actually spend too much money or, like, too many raid passes on this Pokemon if you don't get the event ticket. The event ticket is going to allow you to get the eight additional, so up to 14 daily ones, which is kind of wild. But also increases the chance to get Rex Alkini from raid battles. And this includes both the remote as well as the in-person ones, which is really important. Two times Stardust is not really going to do too much as well. Maybe 50 like 50% XP is something interesting for people. But um, this is at least the last time around was definitely worth getting, in my opinion. If you want to get some Rex Alkini, so definitely try to do this. Do the remote raids afterwards, and this is going to be a great event for you. Let's take a look at the uh, Hisuian Typhlosion. We're going to see here one problem already. Basically, what Niantic did here is Niantic gave this Pokemon a pretty bad fast move, or like pretty mid fast moves. They're not bad. We have Hex and we have Ember. Both of them are kind of okay. But if you take a look at the charge moves, Shadow Ball is okay. Wild Charge is kind of cool. Overheat is kind of okay as well. But you kind of want to have Blast Burn eventually anyway, which this Pokemon would be able to learn eventually, hopefully. We don't know. But um, here right now, this is the recommended moveset on PE Pork. You can get this Pokemon as well for the Great League, but you have to trade um, with like lowest friendship level and it's super, super difficult to get it. So I would say it's basically currently impossible to get it for the Great League. It's only like a Ultra League exclusive Pokemon for now at least. As you can see, this Pokemon actually can do something, but what I actually can kind of want to see here is I would not really go for this moveset if I was you at least because I would have actually went for Ember plus Shadow Ball and a Wild Charge because you have a fast move that's going to hit kind of hard. You're going to have a Wild Charge which is going to hit insanely hard and you're going to have Shadow Ball which is going to hit insanely hard. I'm not the biggest fan of something like a Fire Punch. And as you can see, it might look a little bit worse on paper, but I could see this being a little bit better in general because Ember damage is just going to add up a, li a little bit like over time, but um, yeah, again, this Pokemon is most likely not going to be worth it yet. But if you can take a look real quick here at this Pokemon, if you would give this one Shadow Claw, 
Um, this is going to change the situation quite a bit, which it could learn in the future maybe. Going to make this Pokemon way, way better, but you could also even argue of giving this Pokemon Incinerate, and then you're most likely going to have even a better Pokemon, at least for what I would imagine, because you're going to have a little bit better coverage, and as you can see, this would have a ton of potential if Niantic Gun decide to give it um, the move Incinerate, and I still think it would be super balanced because it's a very squishy Pokemon, it's a pretty bad defensive typing, and so it's definitely still a solid Pokemon there. Typhlosion can be decent in the future at least. Let's move on to the next one, it's going to be a fast one anyway. Um, we're going to have here the Paragon Community Day Classic, which is going to start on the 20th of January. We're going to have a Community Day as well for the Rowlet on the 6th of January, which is like literally this Saturday. Going to make most likely a video prior towards it. I doubt that they're going to get like early access footage this time around though, but um, I do definitely want to feature the Pokemon as well, but I'm definitely going to try to make a video before the community day, just an update showing what you can, what to look for, what to, like what can I be, specs you want to see, whatever. Definitely going to stay tuned for this, going to drop on Friday. But as you can see here, we're going to have the Porygon Community Day Classic, where we're going to be able to get Porygon Z or the Move Tri Attack. And here's the interesting thing, you don't really want this one or you don't really need this one too much. Because here's the thing, Porygon 2 is actually better than Porygon Z and Porygon 2 has Tri Attack already in its move pool. Unless you want to have Porygon for the Mars League, where Porygon Z is the better one, you actually don't really need this one. Like, you don't really need to evolve it. Like, Porygon 2 is what you kind of want to hunt for if you want to play it at all. Of course, it's more of an interesting, like, funny Pokemon, but it's definitely an interesting Pokemon that I like to play. Definitely going to try out the Porygon 2 as well, um, because I like this Pokemon quite a bit. But as you can see as well, you're going to have, like, another normal Community Day research. You have 3 times XP for catching Pokemon, which is kind of lame. What I'm mostly going to do is I'm mostly going to go out for, like, one hour, and that's basically it for it. Because this community day is not going to be too interesting, you're going to have some kind of community day boxes again. This seems a little bit like a scam here, so I wouldn't really pay, pay 10 euro for this one. Don't give your money to Niantic, honestly. Like, if you can still live, like, if you think about it, like, 10 euro for 120 Ultra Balls, yes, you're going to have, like, 6 Incubator, it's also the basic ones, not even, like, the crazy one in one instance. It's just not worth it, like, this is pure scam, I'm on this. Like, those are okay, like, those are usually okay, which you can get in-game here. Like this is just just scam, right? But yeah, let's take a look here real quick. Porygon 2, Porygon Z here for the Ultra League, which is their preferred league. As you can see, Porygon 2 actually has a little bit of potential. And I kind of like this Pokemon. We're going to have access to the move Zapcan, which sadly got nerfed, which kind of made me not want to play this one. But you can even go for something like Solar Beam, which would be a funny one as well. Not as great as Zapcan. Zapcan just gives you a little bit better coverage, especially as Solar Beam going to make you um, completely weak against Steel type Pokemon. So Zapcan still going to be the better one. But Porygon 2, definitely the one that you kind of want to get because they have like 600 more of the average rating here compared to Porygon Z. Shadow variant is an interesting one as well, but not really worth it for this Pokemon because your fast move doesn't do damage and usually you want to have some fast move that does do damage for a shadow variant so would go for the normal variant if you want to play Porygon 2. Very cool Pokemon though. Next one and final event for today which you're going to take a look at is going to be the Dusk form of Lycanroc. Going to be available during the Lustrous Odyssey which is going to be a new event coming up as well starting again actually on the 6th of January. And I saw some debate already about this kind of um yeah I don't know, that's kind of feature of this Pokemon. I'm not too sure about it. Like, this is the thing as well. I do understand why there are people have a problem with this one. But at the end of the day, like, other than for content creators, which you're going to see as well later on, this Pokemon is not going to be that crazy interesting. But uh, Dusk Form Lycanroc is going to be available starting from the 6th of January. And the thing is for this one... It is actually not really bound to the day of time, I think, which you can see here, because it is just starting. Some of those will be able to um, evolve into Dusk form. I think you can always evolve it, I would imagine then, but you're just going to have a chance to have basically the specific variant of um, the pre-evolution that you can either hatch, get through a raid, or get through an event research, which you can see as well, which is going to have the option to like be a Dusk form like in Rock. Don't know if you need a specific time for it, but it is going to be an interesting one nonetheless. 
but I doubt that this Pokemon is going to be that crazy. Anyway, we're going to have event bonuses here as well. We have the special research, which is going to um, get to part two, which is going to be interesting. We're going to have an encounter with Rockruff there as well, so like the special research which we currently have during the season. I think it's most likely not going to be the full research yet. I think there's going to be most likely another step coming up for the final month of this season. But um, event bonuses, increased um, buddy souvenirs, great for the people that still need to do it for the level up quest, but like usually most people don't really care about it. Um, bring in presents, like presents are pretty bad from buddy Pokemon anyway, since like COVID was actually really cool for this because you got like a lot of balls from like buddy Pokemon, but nowadays not really that great. Um, your buddy will spend more time on the map. Cool. Rockruff hatched from X received as Adventure Sync rewards during Pokemon Go may have the chance of evolving into the Dusk form Lycanroc. So it's only from the... That's mad, honestly, I didn't even think about this. Huh? Like, I feel like this kind of... This kind of doesn't make sense. Like, it, it is just, like, I guess... It, huh? So basically, what, what they say here is, like, above, it is just any, and here, just like this is a chance or, for just the uh, adventure thing rewards. I don't really understand this, to be fair. I think it's just like you also have the chance for those, but like I feel like it's like for any kind of encounter that you're going to have moving forward with the rock rough, you're going to have the option there. So I'm not really sure what they really want to say with us here, but maybe there's a higher chance for those from the adventure thing rewards. But at the end of the day, like those gonna be available on Monday again, so like don't know. Here's the issue which a lot of people have for this event. It's going to be the encounter pool. As you can see, Gasty. Maybe if you need the Mega Evolution for Gengar, like Gengar is not really that great. Eevee, we just had it in the event as well with the hat on and still evolvable. Spinarak, bad. Sunkern, bad. Teddy Ursa, if you need still your Ursa Luna, maybe something for you. Luna Tone, Solarock, bad. Jungus, bad. Formentis is okay. Moral, gonna give you some extra starters, which is kind of cool. Espion and Umbreon. Honestly, like this event, like the event spawns. I feel like they're all pretty bad. Like, I don't think there's anything where I'm like, hey, I really want to hunt this Pokemon now. It just feels like a little bit silly. And here's the thing as well. Like, this event would be really cool if we just had Rock Ruff in the wild. This was all it needed, basically, to get this event to a decent level. But as you can see here, you have one star rates where you're going to have Rock Ruff, which you kind of want to get now because it's going to be allowing you, hopefully, to um, have the option to evolve this Pokemon into the Dusk form, which is not going to be great. And we're going to have following Pokemon hatching from 2km X and 7km X. Uh, it's going to be also Rock Ruff, of course. Um, and they have a chance of evolving into the Dusk form. I'm not sure if this also has the... I don't know, like, I honestly don't really know what is going to happen here right now. Is it only from X and not from Raid? Because here they don't say it, here they do say it. I don't know. Like, is Raid now excluded? But, like, why do they put it on into Raids? Why, why do they say it here that it's going to be able to evolve it? Here you're going to be able to evolve it from Research Task, but, like, from Raid's not. I honestly don't know what is really going to happen with the Rockruff here. I think the Antic is just messing up again. Like, it's just honestly like this event. I'm just a little bit more annoyed about it. We're going to have here also another box in the web store for two premium battle passes, two remote passes, two super incubators for five euro. Don't buy this. I don't think that this is going to be worth it. Like, here's the thing as well. You're going to have the exact same one for 599 Poker Coins. Yes, it's theoretically cheaper, but you can just get Poker Coins from gyms, which make Poker Coins way less, um, yeah, I don't know, like way less valuable than actual money. So, I mean, you do you. I would not really buy the one from the App Store. Do whatever you want. But let's take a look real quick at the Liking Rocks as well. Um, I don't really want to make the video too long, it's already way too long. But uh, basically all Lycan Rocks have like a significant like move that it learns, which other don't learn, I think. And um, for example, for I think Lycan Rock, it's Excel Rock here for the midday variant. And um, basically the feature for it is that Dusk is learning both of the Lycan Rock things. Here for example, Excel Rock, which is a move that's not in Pokemon Go yet, but I hope that they're going to add for this Pokemon in the future. That's why I talk about it. It's like their signature one here. But also, as far as I know, it is um, counter for the Midnight variant. And basically, the Dusk variant learns both of them, as you can see here, level 1 counter, level 1 Excel Rock. So maybe Excel Rock comes into the game as like a cheap charge move for the Rock typing, which would actually make this Pokemon interesting if this actually would happen like this. 
but until then it's most likely not going to be the interesting Pokemon there. Interestingly enough here as well, um, there would be the evolution thing that learns is Crush Claw, which apparently is in Pokemon Go already, but without any stats, so maybe it's coming into the game eventually as well. Don't know how much a normal type move is going to help this Pokemon, but um, yeah, I feel like it definitely has some potential in the future. Right now the moveset is Counter, Rock Throw, Sucker Punch, um, Stone Edge, Iron Head, Crunch, and apparently Trailblaze, which I find kind of interesting. Trailblaze I might see actually over Stone Edge for this Pokemon. Um, just to have like some kind of coverage for Swampert, but it's not going to be great. Like it's basically just the Lycan Rock Midnight in worse because this thing has Psychic Fangs, the other one doesn't have Psychic Fangs, and I mean, yeah, they basically do similar stuff, but like not that, it's it's not really that crazy of a difference. And so that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Going to be definitely, like you know, dust going to be better than the Midday variant. Needs a move update to be better than the Midnight variant. Um, the... January Community Day is okay, but you don't really need to play it. Like, if you already have the Pokemon in Tissuian Type Illusion, you kind of only want to play it for the, um, what's called, Rex Alchemy. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.